Action. Okay, good afternoon. This is Kim and hello, this is my hello. husband, Arikis Kim. Hi, so, I'm Kim. I'm Kim. That's Arikis. <laughs> so, this so, is our second so this book is our review. second book review. We weren't able to upload the first one, but this is our second book review. I thought we did, we, no, we uploaded the first one. Did we? No, not yeah. online. I mean, we weren't able to share Rich it to Dad our followers. Product? Did we? Yeah, it's in my YouTube. Oh yeah, but we weren't able to sh share it on social media, like on our Instagram oh, or yeah. Facebook. Oh yeah, okay, because it was rough. We weren't, we weren't super happy. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Love you too, baby. <laughs> so, so, go. Our second book would be Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results, Atomic Habits by James Clear. Or Clear. Clear. James Clear. So, I, I, let's start first. Uh, who's, who is this book for? Why did we read this book? This is my second time to yeah. read this book. Actually, most of the recent books that we've been reading are the books that we've already read before, but we're revisiting it just so we can, you know, uh, refresh the, our insights and, you know, be able to apply it to our personal day to day lives. lives. Well, I, I reread this book. I wanted to reread this book for, the, for kids. the kids, one. And also because uh, ever since the first time I read this book, I've been practicing diligently a lot of the concepts here. And it's something I, I want to refresh and, and apply also for work. Okay. Yeah, so who is this for? So the first time I've, I've read this, actually it was recommended by Atticus, by Ads. So oh, okay. yeah, um, though I think I've heard it before already and I kind of browse it now, but I read it really well, I'd say more focused when you recommended it. And who is this book for? I think the reason why I actually recommend this because he thinks that I'm so unorganized. So um, like we all have a lot. So who is this book for? Basically to someone, to someone like me who's unorganized and you know, we do have someone who has a lot of wants or things to do and apply to themselves, like new habits to develop new habits, but you couldn't really do it because you think you know, you would jump into a huge changes or huge change. So this is basically chopping it into small pieces so you get to really yeah, can do I, it slowly. Can I add to that, babe? I got, I got into this book because I kept missing my goals. Every New Year's resolution, I'd say I want to do this, I want to lose this much weight, I want to get this much stronger, I want to learn this song, I want to open or achieve this target in, at work. And I'd miss it. You know, I'd hit some, but never it was never solid. In this book, it's basically, it, it, it says goals don't work. It's really what you do every day. Yeah. The small habits that really bring you towards Being those goals. The, yeah, the main goals. So it's not, I'm sorry, goals are, it's not enough to set your goals. It's, it's the daily practice. And if you think about it, everybody wants to be a gold medalist at something, right? You want to be the best. And to get there, it's really what kind of systems do you have in place? Yeah. Or the simplest, the simpler term is habits. What habits do you have in place? What are the routines there? that yeah, will help you yeah. get or achieve your certain goals? Yep. Okay, so second, what I like about this book, it is you know, it is broken down into small pieces where you you know, like for example, it's very conversational. Um, it, it the stories are very relate relatable because it's something that you can relate to the examples or really things that are happening on your day-to-day -day life. Oh, I'm copying your sleeves. Please. And um, <laughs> most of it are actually backed by science. I'm, would you agree? Uh, yeah. Yeah, some of the facts, I mean, well, details and, there. More, more than that is it's really work. Real there's life are, examples. There's a lot of stuff that backed by science, but it's so difficult to apply. And this one's so easy. So. Yeah. Um, and also, I feel that this book will be able to help you achieve your goal by incorporating small habits. You know, um, and then you know, and also, I like that it was broken down, like the fundamentals of what to do was broken down into four things, like make the first law, making things obvious, your habits obvious to say all. Second would be make it attractive. I, I think it's maybe you can elaborate Wasn't it later. Wasn't make it satisfying, use reinforcement. And then third would be make it easy. for it would be make it satisfying. That's the okay, fourth. But it, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, but it sorry, could, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So okay, let, let me break it down. I think I'm gonna simplify my takeaway from this book. Is uh, my favorite takeaways takeaways from this book? Is that a good take correct grammar? My takeaway. My favorite takeaways. takeaways. Yeah, because I'm a madame. Um, I love the concept of the, aggre the aggregation of marginal improvements. So often we are looking for a solution to give us a 10% improvement. 
but in fact the reality is usually it's incremental and that small yeah small habits that and you continuously do and those those one percent as you accumulate those little improvements that makes a big difference so when i think of improvements i i often think of work improvements so uh, I run a mature business, and in a mature business, it's hard to expect a 10% bump in sales or, or a 10% decrease in, in costs to become more efficient. But what we could do, what's realistic is 1%. Those 1% are very doable, and this book it reminds me to review, to, to apply that concept again and look for stacking and accumulating all these little 1% efficiencies or increase in, in sales so uh, how does that apply to my personal life it's um, I am reminded if I'm trying to lose weight to be patient you know yeah. like I there's a part of the book where he talks about um, when you're hammering away trying to break a rock you know let's say it takes you 500 hits before it, breaks. before it finally breaks apart on the last hit it wasn't the last hit that broke it it was the 499 that came before that so it's all these little attempts and a lot of it is it, so that's having that mindset of just looking for accumulating a little one percent gains as opposed to being greedy and looking for a shortcut big one so that's one um, do you want me to keep going or do you want to expand um, on that no well you explain it the best way i guess oh here sorry habits are the compound interest of self-improvement so if you guys Invest your money, like and you that. know, like uh, Warren. Oh, uh, sorry, Warren Einstein, Einstein said that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. I think was it Einstein? Better double check that. Mm -hmm. But the idea is, like, with compound interest, you can grow your money More than faster double. than linear. Uh, the simple interest. Oh, sorry, that's that, that's still confusing. I don't know how to explain it and make it. But anyway, it, it stacks it, up. That's the yeah, point. It can, creates momentum. Compounding. Yeah. yeah, no, but know. how do you explain it to Storm? So, um, I would explain it, Storm, if you're watching this video one day. Having good habits cr propels you and you accelerates, it creates more domino. velocity. So yeah, it, it, it's a, you go faster and faster. The more good habits you have lined up, the faster your growth, the faster your improvement, the faster you'll get to your goals. So that's what I mean by it, having great habits or the compounders interest of self-improvement okay you know one thing that I also like I guess um, it's it's something that I always I, I already know of but I have to remind myself is when you do certain changes there's a certain period where I like the term that it, that was used in the book where it says um, some people we most of us we do feel we, we reach the point of the valley of disappointment. That's basically in a context where you're trying to lose weight, for example. The first two weeks, to most people, they don't really see the results because you know your body is in an adaptation stage or mood. And usually for the body to really adapt, it takes three weeks or more. And because you get bored, most of us get bored to see the results, we stop and go back to our old habits. So this is this kind of reminds me of you know yun nga, being patient when you're trying to do something new to go through the process and it's impossible that your life will not improve if you're committed to doing that at least one percent of new positive um, input in your life. Can, can I add one more story? So I guess the, the guys can appreciate this. Uh, one of my favorite kung fu stories that they, they say is like this student goes to this kung fu master. And the Kung Fu master goes, okay, I want you to empty the bucket of water and slap the water out. So every day, all he's doing is just this motion slapping of slapping the water to remove the water from the bucket. That's hard. So for a whole summer, he did that. And when he went home to visit his family, the family's like, oh, we've got this, uh, our Shaolin monk, right? Show us what you learned. So, and he was feeling embarrassed because he said, shit, I didn't do anything. I, my, my teacher didn't teach me any 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 fighting skills. All he made me do was slap the water away. And then, so his family kept prodding him, come on, show us what you got, show, show us what you can do. So in his embarrassment, he stood up and he slammed the table like that and broke it in half. And the story there is that because he accumulated, he thought it was nothing, that this repeated gesture was, 
Nothing. Was not, yeah, was not it's, doing anything. It makes sense. Yeah. Didn't realize that the whole time he was building that strength. Yeah. So like going that. back to the Valley of Disappointment. Yeah, so Valley of Disappointment. So yeah, and and I think another thing that I would like to highlight is that a lot of us, I am actually guilty of this. I, I am stuck in my mindset or my old self where, you know, um, you just believe what you want to believe and you think you cannot change. Like there's some habits that is already we can we think it's concrete already but you know what my realization also is it's really a matter of opening your mind and bringing yourself out trying new things trying new habits that can actually lead you to a better new you in a way so i want to highlight the the, the quote because i we are into health so i want to actually align this to what i always tell people also Dreams do not determine your destiny. They determine your areas of opportunity. Genes can be, be can can predispose but they don't predetermine. So how do you relate that to to your routines and new habits? It's basically everything is buildable. You can build good habits so as the opposite. If you have a bad habit and you keep on doing it and you make it don't if you always make it attractive to you, then it's hard to break it. So yeah, I, I agree that um, I could geek out over that. That's, mm -hmm. So, genes will give you a head start, but like Kim said, ultimately it's your habits that will determine how far you go. The overall lifestyle. Yeah. So, I mean, like, let's say when it comes to basketball, you've got, if you're Short. seven feet tall, yeah, you have a head start at the game, but there are MVPs who have dominated who are only six feet tall. Spot web was below six feet, right? I think uh, not. Parang din tayo lumayo. I think Manny Pacquiao also is great in basketball. So in his you mean basketball, boxing. No, even I know basketball. Him. Yeah. I don't so, know if he's great. I don't, I I don't follow think, his basketball. Well, anyway, career. my point is he can play. He can play. So it really, it's really a matter of you can get get ahead. If, uh, you know, if you really put an effort. So it's, yeah. So your genetics will predispose you, but. It's really so you the you practice and the, the accumulation of um, your habits. So you know what I wanna I wanna focus this book review towards Storm, when, kids, and the kids, the girls, and, and, and the boy. Um, if you look around the studio, yeah, I have rings hanging there. I never cover the, the piano behind. We him. usually have walk pads so, here. So when you go to most houses, they have. Uh, their piano's covered. It's it's sacred. Your kids are not allowed to touch it. I have stickers on mine. Uh, there's one concept in the book called the cost to start. Remove the friction cost to start a new habit you're trying to build. So yung harang, meaning yung, yeah. yeah. In business, so say, we call it harang. <laughs> let's say um, let's say you want to learn guitar. Put so it. most people they, they treat the guitar like a sacred object, which it is, but. They keep it in the case, they put it in, in the case, goes into the closet. So every time they want to practice and learn, they have to open the closet, they have to pull out the heavy hard case, put it in the bed, open the hard case, unlatch four mm. latches, pull out the guitar, uh, maybe put the hard case on the floor. So anyway, it takes, it takes uh -huh. a while. The cost to start is big. Um, in your case, in our case, you put it in. if you notice, we have rings hanging everywhere. So we create habits where my, my rule is every time I go to the toilet when I go out I have to do hang pull up I hang or do three pull ups um, I have a chinning bar at the bottom of our stairs I also do you have a guitar in your car so when it's traffic when I'm in traffic I have a guitar so it's like I make it so easy no excuse like my joke with Kim is um, the only thing missing is a guitar in the toilet right actually so you know like a guitar in the toilet and in my case a book in the toilet, and in my case, a book in the toilet. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. The, so remove friction. That's a big one. Um, mm -hmm. That's a huge hack. Yeah. What, what else? Yeah. What else? Siguro, let's go down. You know, even if this is long, I think people will benefit from it. So let's just keep on talking and wrap it up later. I think I would want to discuss 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 discuss, discuss how to create a good habit following the rule that was advised in this book. Like the first rule, you oh. have the scorecard. Yeah. Maybe you would want to share something about that. Uh, sorry, I want to go to, I want to talk about a great way to also get into a habit is to build build your tribe, 
to build. Well, that's second. That's the second. Okay. Goal. Maybe discuss the, first, the one. first. One scorecard first. I don't yeah. have anything on the scorecard. Well, go. no scorecard. Actually, I've learned this from you. So Ads has a Google Sheet where he tracks all. Of I have a Google Sheet for everything. Yes, actually, that's how organized yeah. he is. But just to share, one of those Google Sheet uh, has the details of his reps of his pull ups, for example, every yeah. day, the dates of when he did it. The steps, the number of steps. Yeah. So that's the first law. So that's when I'm in super serious mode. Yeah, so make it obvious. So you can see track mo, you're on track. No? You get to measure And it, it inspires me. I'm all like, hey, yes, yes, uh -oh. I've been doing the work. Yeah. So if I'm frustrated, my weight's not moving, I'm not hitting my, my goals, I'm like, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. So even when it comes to piano, when it comes to guitar. Yeah. Your, the duration of your practice, you yeah. also put it in. No? Yeah, so like, yeah. that's actually how I injured my hand. I was pushing. Too much. I was doing over-practicing and over-repetitive mm -hmm. strain. Okay. So yeah, there is there is a pitfall. If you get obsessed with it, it, it can really consume yeah. you. Second law was the one that you're trying to say earlier, where you join a culture where your desired behavior yeah. is the normal behavior. Yeah. For example, if I want to be healthy, I would surround my people with someone who eats the same way as I do, someone who fasts as well. If you want to be smarter, you'll be with smarter. Basically, um, join people that you know again reading or book club. Uh, book reviews, etc., and like, and maybe you can give an example. Of what yeah, else my favorite yourself. example is this is I wasn't planning on getting married anymore until I met Kim because Kim has all the habits I like. So, Kim sings, uh, which I love music, obviously. She dances too, so she's very naturally musical. She does visual art, which I also love. I, I draw it myself. Um, she loves business, which I also love. She was the first girl I met who was naturally into fasting, so which I, I do often, and she was very open to healthy eating and diet. So I, I think the most important person in your, in your tribe is the one closest to you. If you really want to find success in a lot of areas, make sure that you choose your partner you choose wisely. Your partner wisely. Okay, it really, it really it, is. It's actually, so true. No. And I got lucky. Yeah. Why am I blurry? Is it my eyes or? No, it's I'm the not... focus. Not the focus. Because I'm, I'm yeah, pulling you back. Close, Sorry. Closer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Third would be this is make you know, make it easy. I think you've discussed this. We've discussed it earlier. You know. So basically, the opposite of out of sight, out of mind. If it's there, you know this is. You, know, you, you keep for your bad it. habits. Yeah, yeah, for your bad habits. Mm -hmm. The opposite is also true. If there's if, if the things that you would want to improve are yeah. just like a uh, hand. So near let's you. say you're, you're dieting and you want to minimize that. You Remove can hide. all the junk food you can, in your house. Yeah, or you can hide it. Mm -hmm. Put it put it high up. Kim has this funny funny thing that I tried to do. It was kind of embarrassing. I was more overweight maybe two weeks ago, or no, a month ago. And she goes, how about every time you eat, you take your shirt off so you can see how fat you are. Yeah, I call it mirror <laughs> diet. I call it mirror diet. So if you don't want, the concept is if you don't like what you see in the mirror, then don't eat. So what I end up doing, <laughs> what the reality is, so I, I did it a couple of times. It, it kind of worked. But I end up just pinching my, 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 my little, belly, my your little belly. belly right here. Like, oh, I, I still got a belly. I got to pull back. Mm -mm. And the last law, the fourth law, make it satisfying. So you reinforce and give yourself an immediate reward when you complete your habit. Yeah. Maybe you can cite an example like when you game or there's so a story about gaming when or we, social media. At the end of, this, at the end of the, this hallway, you can see there's pieces of paper on the wall. Those are the it's tasks blurry. for our kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's blurry. But a lot of the chores we give the kids, I try to gamify it. So for example, I, as early as now, I encourage them to work out, but not I don't make them do the same workouts that an, an adult does. Like I don't make them do squats. I make them do frog Not jumps. Not the boring. Yeah, things. I make them do crawls. So it's more, it's it, it's fun. It's it's playtime, and a lot we uh, try to apply that concept as often as possible. So my favorite recent example was we started our kid, our eldest on Kumon, and she hated it. Like it was it was such a chore to get her to do she it. She find it. But boring. when he switched her to this other brand called Math and Magis, Math and Magis. which was more puzzle, style. yeah, which was more puzzle uh, in practical application. Boom, she 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 uh, took off. She Initially did really well because she she had fun. It's fun for her. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and going back to the concept, if you're a parent, the application here is to really gamify. Mm -hmm. Or if you're an employer and you want your employees to be more efficient, find ways to create. Make it fun. Yeah, fun. 
the word really is gamification. Make make it fun. Make it immediately rewarding. Uh, make and here's the super important detail. It has to be challenging enough, not too hard. If it's too hard, people Sometimes lose motivation. So, yeah, yung yung nga yung disappointment valley, yung valley of disappointment. Yun din yun eh. Yung parang it's too hard na parang hindi realistic. You can, for example, if you're someone who doesn't really walk every day, yeah, and then all of a sudden you want to hit twenty thousand per day, parang it's yes, you may do it, but you can only last like for how long doing it. For three consecutive days, maybe, and then you'll just get tired of it. So yeah, so basically, just small bites until you get the hang of it, until your body and your your mindset adapts totally. And again, I think there's a science. I need to double check, but in order for you to start a new habit, you have to do it for two months, I think, or 21 days straight, and then to make it permanent, see ya, to make it permanent, 90 days. I thought it was two minutes. Per day. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, that's correct. No, what I'm pertaining to day days. How many days do yeah. you have to do it? And yeah. even if it's just a one minute, as long as you do it every day, never miss two consecutive days. Because once you miss that new doing that new habit, for example, you're already eating healthy, and then one day you cheated, yeah. and then the following day you cheated again, ended yeah. up a month of cheat. Wala na. You have to it's back to zero na naman. So make sure that you Don't try your. Describing me. <laughs> so make sure that you start. You try not to miss two days consecutively. So yeah, that's it. I actually really like it. The, like this book. I think um, people that are interested, you know, creating or starting a new habit, I, I, I would recommend that you read it because it, it. There's also if you go to the website of this um, guy, James Clear. I think he offers a, a free tracking cheat sheets. sheet, tracking yeah. sheet, yeah. where you can print it and you know just put on your new routines and all, and it actually will motivate you more. So yeah. Um, highly recommended. I'd give it a four out of five if you're like someone like me who's. I give it a five out of five. I think um, it's super useful yeah. for me. So, babe. Yeah. What new habits are you gonna? Introduce? Um. <laughs> well, something that I would want. It, this is very shallow, but it, this is for my relationship, personal relationship with my husband. I started because I'm not so showy. I look so sweet, but sometimes I can be a little dull. So. I try to do so my goal is before was to hug him basically just give him a hug every day or tell him I love him maybe every day because there are days when you're so busy and you don't get to tell the person how much important they are to you so Siguro that's for me uh, relationship wise work wise um, I started well I've been doing naman my Google Sheet organizing more things right now but I'd say I need to improve it further so I'll keep track on the things that I've been doing work-wise with my kids um, same relationship with my kids I want to spend more time with them maybe those are not measurable habits huh? Just well saying. you can still measure it there's an example actually yeah, spend more time out what's no that? like five like, minute hug like a, a give it, okay. each kid a five minute hug daily okay. because sometimes you're so busy and your attention is not there when they're you no know, present so just basically start doing that yeah okay, i'm just saying it yeah. sorry they're hard to measure that's what i meant well it really depends on like what your goal is i guess yeah. that's for me that's me <laughs> uh, it can vary from one person to another um for my steps because i have been breastfeeding i just recently gave birth a few weeks four twelve weeks and plus ago <laughs> because Arcus is turning four months old now um, so I started getting my 10k steps daily. So I think that's it. So I don't want to break it. So this okay. is my first week. So yeah, right. that's it. Yeah. So I highly recommend this book. Um, hope this book review was helpful. Yeah. We're getting better. This is book review number two. We should post the first one so people will find I it. Post the first one already. Sorry. Share it on our social media platforms. It's I don't only know. It's on not good. I don't want to share it. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, that's it. We can go back to that. Bye. What's our what's our, what's our book? The um, third book? Next week. Are you um, you're choosing? I choose. I haven't. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to think about it. I okay. Mean, ciao. Okay, so let us know how we can do this better and who this would be useful for. <laughs> Siguro real life talaga examples, I think. No, I, I really think we should do this live. Yeah, we I should. Think, Maybe like, let's We can record this. it like this and then we have let's like this, this live. And then let's ask people. It will yeah. be hard to take a proper video because if you were live and then we're answering. No, anyway. so we're, the video is there and then there's another one here. So we're answering. Yeah. We can I try. Or maybe let, okay. let us hear your thoughts. Peace Bye. out, guys. Hope this was useful.